The Shock Cemetery on the afternoon of Wednesday, September 8th, became an unlikely crime scene following the fatal shooting of 23-year-old Antonius Ramo. Law enforcement reports indicate that Ramo was a self-employed resident of Pavi Castries. According to one close friend, the slaying occurred after a funeral service. Ramo was attending the burial service of another supposed victim of violence when a gunshot disturbed the somberness of the poignant occasion. Yesterday we went from uh, everything was going all right. We were uh, we uh, enjoying ourselves in the local firm. Right? So my little friend Tonyas, I dare if him. Boom, boom, boom. We went on a side, we sit down on a tomb there when we were ready to go for a bus. Bus was a, a little late and different thing, so a friend of us tell us he will come back and meet us. In that same time, I left with another guy and I left him on the tomb. And time for me to reach where I reach, where they are the, this, this thing after the week. We see. We hear in a call that they should turn us. The resident says the news of his friend's demise came as a great shock to him and has sent his world into a tailspin given his dependence on the deceased. I could not believe that. I never knew Tony has in no bad trouble to see. And he was a very nice guy. Trust me, he was my boss too. My little boss man, he did take care of me, give me everything, my clothes, my shoes. He did take care of me, so right now I don't know what I'm going to do. My friends tell me they sit down there and they just see a money for white shirt. And that's all they tell me. Money for white shirt, just a push to us and just a firing bullets behind to us and they took and they self had to run. Despite widespread speculation about the motive behind the shooting, his close friend says the homicide victim did not deserve the indignity of such a violent death at a solemn occasion such as a gravesite funeral burial service. Many things happen around the place and his name was calling and I never knew he is that kind of fella. He was very nice to me. He never treat me bad to say and the whole community know about him. He's a very good guy. I know why the fellas killed Tonyas. I don't know what reason he had with the fellas. I don't know how that happened there. That happened so strange. I self that have me a shock. I cannot believe that up to now. The Pave resident says a mood of melancholy looms over the community. Nobody is feeling good about that. Eh? And we want something to happen about that. Because the last time the man died right there and nothing happened for that. And watch that, the man go his friend from Raleigh, well, never make it back home. I want justice for Tonya. Too much things happening in the country and nobody, never see nobody, never talk. But they have someone that see. Yeah, do tell me Tonya's right there and they have people live in the cemetery, they do see who kill him. They have somebody that see. Images taken at the gravesite show the slumped frame of the victim at the cemetery grounds with apparent drug paraphernalia and an overturned beverage bottle nearby. First responders of the emergency services were called out to the seaside burial grounds, but the crime scene was turned over to law enforcement. The responding officers found on scene a male individual in a sitting position in the presence of bystanders. An assessment of the patient revealed that he sustained penetrating wounds to his head. Due to the obvious signs of death, the scene was left in the care of the police. Police have launched an investigation into the 46th known homicide on island for 2021. Sulaj Alfred, HDS News Force.